Warning, what you are about to see in here contains mind-blowing awesomeness. Please take the necessary precautions to make sure that your mind is properly blown. P.S. Don't pay attention to any of the math. I froze up and calculated wrong, but you get the idea, don't you? Thanks. Right. Hi there, Evergreen High School. My name is C.J. Garcia, and this is my science project. What I have here is a question. The question was, can we physically see sound? And to answer that question, I stumbled upon a project called the Rubens Tube. Now, the Rubens tube was invented in 1905 by Mr. Rubin himself. Now, what it is, it is a steel tube uh, with holes drilled in the top of it. I have 58 holes drilled into the top of mine with propane going into one end while a speaker shoots sound into another end with a uh, diaphragm or we used a rubber glove on this end. Now, what happens is the propane goes into here, you light it up, and the sound comes into here and it makes the flames dance. And I will show you that momentarily. Here we go. First, turn on the propane. Now, we have our safety lenses and my parental unit is right behind the camera. Then we light it up, get the famous Rubin tube, goes from one end to the other. Now, what we have here is called a standing flame. A standing flame, all the flames should be relatively level. Now, some of them are a little bit higher over here, but that's because propane's right there. They're going to be a little bit higher. But as it fills up a little bit more, it'll all equal out eventually. Now, so we have our standing flame, and I'm going to first put in a uh, sound wave in hertz. Now, a sound wave sounds a little bit something like this. And what that is, that is a 440 hertz sound wave. That means the sound is generating a wave 444 times a second. Sorry, 440 times a second. Now, there's an equation you can figure out to figure the distance between the top of the sound wave to the top of another sound wave of a 440 hertz, but it's all complicated. You have to divide 360 by your hertz to figure out the sound wave. But with the Rubens tube, what you can do is you can play the sound wave and you can physically measure with the ruler from the top of the sound wave to another, like so. Uh, uh, so here. You can take a ruler and this is the top of the sound wave. See how it's the tallest peak? Oh, it's only for seven seconds. Got it. And here's where the air is compressed, and here's where the air is least compressed. Now, what happens is the sound bounces through the diaphragm right there. It comes into the tube, and the way the sound is going, it compresses it in and out to the frequency of the wave. And the frequency is then judged by the sound right there. And here comes tape measure. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Now, if we do the math real quick and divide 440 by 340, because that is the sound of speed, we get 1.29, which makes it 1.29 meters. Now, it's a little bit larger than the Rubens tube itself right here. So we'll play the sound wave again and we'll measure from the top of one to another. Alright, it went to about one foot and four inches, which is 0.24 feet, about. Now, what you can also see is, you know, boring waves, you know, they're all science. You can also play music through here and see how music jumps up and down throughout the Rubens tube. Now, I created a graph earlier, which you will see on my poster board, and you can see that uh, I have the highest reaction is techno, some classical, and some German metal. 
and I'll play some of those for you so you can see it as well of how it bounces up and down throughout the fire. It's it's pretty amazing. Now I'll start off with some classical. It's Mozart's song. <laughs> Mozart, and uh, here's some classical Beethoven done for you. Here we go. Here, this is, I think, pretty amazing in itself. Here we go. this techno is that the flame can actually bounce up really quick and go back down to the standing wave in a matter of just split second. Now also on here I found really interesting was German metal. I tried a whole bunch of metal music thinking oh they'd be all heavy and there'd be sound going up and down but truly it was just boring to watch. It was almost a standing flame. But what I came to see was that uh, American and British metal was really boring, but Rammstein, the German metal band, came to be the most, by far, intense of seeing it through the flame. Here we go. Ein kleiner Mensch stirbt nur zum Schein, wollte ganz allein sein. Das kleine Herz stand still für Stunden, so hat man es für tot befunden. Es wird verscharrt in nassem Sand mit einer Spieluhr in der Hand. demonstrate for you right now because it'd just be a really long presentation if I did any more. So that is the Rubens tube and I will gladly answer questions during my presentation in person. Thank you. <laughs>